Keep on going down here. We got some nice vintage pirates. Man, look at this thing. This is in such good shape. All right, we're back out here again. We got a truck ready to go. We're about to go load up a unit. I won this one. Um, we're in Atlanta. We're at Life Storage. 460 bucks for this thing. I think it's like a 10 by 15. Mostly furniture. There's a few boxes. And then um, when I got here a little while ago, this cart full of stuff right here, the guy that works at the facility said that it was all stuff that was left in a unit by someone else that um, bought one at an auction. And it's like mostly new clothes. It's like new little, those little cheap plastic bags with clothes in them. But there's a whole bunch of them. I know I can get a buck a piece for them normally. So let's see what we got here. It's all free. So just let's move this over. Ugh. To the truck here and we will see what we got. He said the Instant Pot was trash. I don't know if that's just because it's dirty so he thought it was trash or if he actually knows that it's broken or something i'm not sure but yeah all these packages of clothing well, let me see what one of them is here um oh okay they're like leggings yeah so like brand new leggings and i don't know if there's other stuff that has the leggings or not white fold over what is this um are these bags? Oh yeah, look, bags. We can use these for sure at the, in the at our register up front. Move this. The dense spot's definitely in there. I mean, this thing is heavy. And I mean, it's been used. It's a little bit dirty, but I don't know if it's necessarily trash. I guess all these are just leggings. So actually, if they're leg, I might go to get a couple bucks a piece for, but I might just run them at a dollar because I got them free and there's so many of them. Yeah. Well, it's not all leggings. That's like a sports bra, sports bra I guess. Um, this looks like is that maybe a t-shirt? Some sort. What is this here? T-shirt. Yeah. So all kinds of. Looks like all kinds of um, new clothing. Yeah. yeah, these are like little, um, or these are long sleeve shirts. Okay, kind of like a, almost like a kind of a workout shirt there. Yeah. But there's a ton of it. I don't know why the people left this behind. Oh, look, here's some brand new um, tank tops with the tags okay, on them. Oh, nope. Back. And this whole huge box is full. This is all full. All this is full. Oh, this is all hangers. Whole box of hangers here. But this, as you can see, it's just full of all these clothes. <laughs> Here's a Louis Vuitton ribbon off of something. Maybe they just got the higher end stuff and left the regular stuff. I don't know. That's empty. Gooseneck phone, phone holder. But actually, yeah, it's all... All different clothing items here. Even down in here, there's a um, little headband. Anyway, so all this, all this is free. This happens sometimes. I've been, you go get units and you end up, you know, they end up giving you free stuff. It's happened to me quite a few times, or I just find free stuff. You almost just kind of add this on to the, to the unit that you're getting into the buy, so. 460 this might pay for the whole unit right here once it's all pieced out because there's a lot of pieces here so it actually probably will or come close to it paying for the unit so pretty much everything in the unit now now we're all i think we're going to be good good to go it's all moving into the you know into the profit area instead of you know just making back our initial buy so not a bad deal at all but we gotta get this stuff loaded up and then we're gonna walk in there and we'll show you the unit All right, down in the bottom of the box, we've got <laughs> parts of a couch. But look at this, we got a pretty, pretty decent looking pair of Air Force Ones here for free. That box that Ann just opened up had one shoe. Yeah. Open up again. 
one shoe there, so. More bags. More bags. We got a Marvel coloring book here. All right, we made it back to the unit now after um, loading up our free goodies there, our little gift we got. We are at the unit now. They said this, that this guy, he um, he was in auction status quite a few times and he finally just didn't pay this time. It looks like it's mostly, mostly furniture. I don't know what these wooden boxes are, but there are a few boxes back there. But a big white shelf, this looks pretty nice. Um, some kind of vintage piece here, we'll have to get it turned over. I don't know if it's a little buffet or what exactly. There is this futon kind of right in the middle here. Um, so we got tile. What kind of tile is it? Let's see. Oh, it's just solid black tile. It's kind of unusual. Oh, okay, there's it's the black and white, so you can make the, the black and white checkered pattern. Those are all white, those are black, and it's some kind of ceramic. A couple rolls of fabric. Nope, oh, what's in this box here? What do we got? Fog liquid. It's not full, there's some in it, but not full. We got some um, Rogers silver, silver plated here. What are in these? Let's see. Oh, this is heavy. Ice melt. One, two, three jugs of ice melt. Quick dip, instant hydrating treatment. Okay. And then another one of these teapots here. So that's all that's in there. Let me get this heavy box. Yeah, that might be empty or trash. Yeah, it kind of looks like trash. I don't know. Oh, it's a big snowman hat. So, okay. What is that? Okay. Now these things, I don't know what in the world. Okay, there's a tile. All right, so some kind of something they made. I don't know what the purpose of them was, but they got a tile in here and their little boxes. Looks like a whole bunch of them here. I don't really know exactly what they were doing with them, but um, hand truck. Let's go back here. Yeah, lots of furniture, little side tables, chairs. There's a big, um, big drop, a vintage drop leaf table. Drawers missing there, but I think that's the drawer right up there. And then there are some boxes scattered back here we'll be able to dig into. Hopefully, hopefully find some stuff. We need some stuff for our auction this week in a bad way. So hopefully we're gonna find something in here. More than the furniture, but I need furniture. I need everything right now, so. Oh, okay, and just moved that, and now I can see what these are. These are, is that a, is it a rocking chair? Like a folding rocking chair? I'm not sure exactly. Here in a minute, we'll see what it is, but we got one, two, looks like a set of four of, of those chairs. And I think I see another set of chairs back there, so. A lot of furniture, kind of, you know, not your traditional bedroom set, living room set thing, just kind of some odd wood shelves, tables, chairs, all that kind of thing. All right, I got the big futon out of the way, and this is a nice pair of of the metal, the iron tables. It's got a glass top, a top on it. Normally, you know, you'd see outside. Here is. Well, this is kind of cool. This is a, a vintage office chair. Look at the base on it there. Pretty good condition. It's a Costco, Hamilton Costco Inc., Columbus, Indiana. It's got a DeKalb County, Georgia tag on it there. It's probably from like a government office or a school or something. But pretty good shape, a little bit of wear there, but it's got that cool kind of retro mid-century look that a lot of people like. A couple of nice looking, oh, these are Corona beach chairs. There's two of them here. See right there, Corona Extra. So this is nice. Table's got a crank right here. You just crank it up and then it just it just starts right up. That's actually cool. It lowers up and down. So a lot of times this kind of stuff is just, you know, decorative when you sit you know, down there, but this is actually a functioning set of tables. 
Well, it's just because it's the same. <laughs> yeah, it's the same yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. And here's one of the chairs that there's a set of. These are nice, clean, clean, good condition for sure. Look at this chest right here. Let's move out. Well, I do see a little bit of damage on the top here. There's a trim piece that's damaged, unfortunately. Yep, um, it stinks that this is damaged, but you know what? You could probably just take this off. Just take the rest of that off and just not even have that on there since it's broke. But this is very nice. Oh, is that? Oh, here's the rest of the trim piece. You might be able to fix that. Yeah, you pretty much could fix that trim piece. But really nice piece of furniture. Very well made. The drawers function nice and smooth. I don't see any name. I was looking to see if I saw any kind of name anywhere. But all right. All right moving along right there. Oh, Ann has found a box. More little tables and stuff back here. But look, this thing right here is really nice. Now that we can get in front of it, this big shelf shelving unit, it's got a couple drawers in the middle. Very good shape. All the drawers function real well. There's a name in there. Um, Vendor Hammery. I don't know exactly what that is. All right, let's see what Ann's got over here. First, we got one of these acid-free box boxes here. I don't know if there's anything in it. If there's photos or what. Oh, wow, look at this. Did you already look in there, Ann? Uh, no. Look I at these. Not. Now, this, unfortunately, the nose is broke on that oh, one. Man. But all these blown glass ornaments. Let's look here. You got an angel. You got this big basket, a tree. Ann likes, okay. Ann likes the teddy bear Santa. You get the teddy bear pajamas. Oh, here's a, what's the name on this thing? Let's see. Christopher Radko. I don't know. That's a, from a shirt. That's not the, that's not from, not from this. Yeah. I don't think that's from this ornament. Another teddy bear Santa. Look at this one right here. The Hawaiian shirt. Okay. Here's a, this thing says oh, the painted ladies. This is number 479 of 500. Maybe that is, here's another one. I think maybe this is the right tags right here. Christopher Radko. I don't know, that says 2002 Olympic mascots. And then this says Olympic mascots. I don't know. There's a little Thanksgiving or, yeah, Thanksgiving scene there. Okay, here's this. This is the same one from over there, but this one the nose is not broken. Another teddy bear. New house. They're all glass, all very nice. There's the bell and the clown. You have to give that one to Leah. If you're not aware, Leah is terrified of clowns. Is there another layer underneath? There is. Look at all that, man. It's a whole nother layer underneath here. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Greetings from Florida. It's like a postcard. Oh, oh, it even has a back on it. It's got the two on there and a beach scene. What is this one here? Oh, this is like a Christmas card kind of. May peace and joy of Christmas be yours. These are definitely the Christmas yeah. room. There's a, um, like a clown bear. Right. Look at that frog. Looks like a, like a royal British frog but yeah as you can see all kinds of this one's really cool right here you see that one in it's got a date 2009 of it's cool it's Santa on a bike and the oh, reindeers are on there <laughs> we got the little zebra looking dress look at this guy there are these two kids it's like Hansel and Gretel they're eating every oh. everything here Eiffel Tower it's got a poodle oh. and it says Paris <laughs> These are cool. They are. I think that, yeah, that's going to be it. The box don't go any further down. All right, let's set that back in there. 
There's another red case there, so I'll okay. it down. So Ann's got another case. Just because it's red. Looks like more ornaments. That I believe is a tree skirt probably. But these are um these are nice ornaments too. These are glass. Kind of fancy silver ornaments glass. And then you got all these nice pine cones. And that's a single layer, but that's a nice batch of ornaments there. We got another one. One that I saw doesn't mean it won't be another one. But that's okay. All right, and we've got a few more blown glass ornaments right here. Look, there's Santa's jacket. This is cool. It's Santa's jacket, but it looks like it has little, little patches all over it. Oh, yeah. And then just some other glass. Yeah. Like that's real heavy. This is real heavy, too. So these are all, these are re really nice looking. Look at this thing. I don't see a name on it, but they look like they'd be something something expensive right here. Like Romanian glass is kind of what it looks like. It's somewhere in the middle there. Yeah. What is this metal one here? This is National Museum of African American History and Culture. Oh, and we got the little, these are real nice, these glass stars and different things. All right, so some good Christmas oh. ornaments. And then we got this box here we haven't looked in. Let's see, it looks like glassware of some sort. Jersey China Company, is that what that is? Yep, Jersey China Company. Um, let's see if there's other stuff. Rosenthal, so it's different. It's not all the same, same set. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we got some, there's something else down here. Let's move these out so we can get down in here. More little dishes, but I'm looking further down. Here is, oh, this is nice. Legion utensils. Keep on going down here. We got some nice vintage pirates. Man, look at this thing. This is in such good shape. And look at that print on the side. Very nice. And then a matching piece right here. Is there any more pirates? I think there is. We got some odds and ends here. Some more china pieces. Is this a big piece of pirate from here or what? Um, I think it's just a big, like a big white bacon dish. It's underneath all that, so I'm going to leave that in there for now. Nice. But those are very nice and excellent shape. Yeah. There's a couple little dings here and there, but overall, yeah. like this side right here is almost perfect. Perfect, yeah. Mm. And what was in here, Ann? A shoe. Look at this bad boy. Hmm. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Okay. I mean, we'll definitely kind of skim more through that, but it looks like it's just paperwork um then i want to show before we put that back up look at this really nice little wood set of um kind of end tables with the shelf this does match it's a bigger piece, it's a bigger piece. i mean it's the same design all wood little shelf very good condition all this is in really good shapes so this unit this thing is not packed to the brim or anything but everything in here is just about we're seeing is all good quality there's not any trash, you know, stuff that's just completely broken. That had the little bit, bit of damage there, but the piece was there. Everything is in really good shape. Stuff's clean. It's not filthy and nasty. So very good unit. Just from what, from what I can see so far, it's going to turn very good. We haven't even gotten to see what surprises we might find in that back corner in those boxes. But just the, um, the furniture is just going to add up because it's all so clean that you'll be able to get good prices for all this stuff. And then these ornaments should do good in our auction. Whether we try to sell them now, probably not. We'll probably wait, kind of hold those until next Christmas or at least leading up to next Christmas. And a couple good, these will do really good in the auction yeah. on this Pyrex right here. All right, and we do have a pair of these two, these little like nightstands. You can use them as a nightstand or an end table. But they're real nice, wood, in good condition. And it's got the other one there. Yeah, this is the drawer. 
We got two drawers for this big drop leaf table. No chairs that match it exactly. I mean, somebody might put those other ones around it, but not any direct matches. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. What? Underneath this thing. Pots. Oh, no. Big ceramic flower pots. We've, got, we've gotten so many ceramic flower pots over the last couple months. But one, two, three, four, five, six, at least seven. They're nice, big um, ceramic flower pots back there. Big, but not too big. You know, some those aren't. We've got yeah, lately. those aren't near yeah. as big yeah. as some of the, some of the other ones were just ridiculously big. You could barely, I mean, couldn't even really pick them up. Had to get them on a hand truck. Yeah. Those the ones on the back are a little bit big, and there is dirt, yeah. but they're still not as big as some of the other ones. All right, we get this little vintage piece right here. It's it's pretty pretty nice. Has the, the drawer here. It's all functioning, good shape. It's got the hardware. It, there is a piece. These round legs always break off like that, but once again, they had the piece in the drawer here, so that could easily be glued back on and be 100% there. No, I don't know. I thought they were because I saw that curve there. They're just. Oh, it's the, the arm. Maybe. Yeah, I thought they were rocking chairs. Yeah. All right. They are not rocking chairs, but they're nice wooden arm chairs that fold up. Yeah. These are really cool. These look good around a, like on a um, big nice table around a porch or patio or something. But it looks like there's, well, I don't know how many, six of them probably, maybe more. So we got six of those. We got eight of this chair here. We got four of this little black one. So lots of chairs. And they're all nice and good condition. Yeah. A couple more back there. And there are two of these up there. This is an odd one. I think that doesn't have a match. Okay, I think actually those two up there, that's the same one back there. So there's at least three of that one. But, that one's but this, this is just an odd, just an odd one. A bamboo chair there. All right, I just pulled this shelf out into the hall, and this thing is really sturdy, well-made. When I went to move it, it's heavy, all wood, but this trim on the back is kind of what um, kind of what pushes it over the top and makes it, you know, even more of a nice piece of furniture. Besides the fact that it's well-made and sturdy, but then you have this ornate trim on the back, and then the, the drawers in the middle. It's just overall cool. It's a really cool um, shelf that would... Um, you could store a lot of stuff on it. It's really big too. And shelves are very expensive. I mean, you can't go buy a little press wood, little unassembled, that little solder junk, you know, you can get it at places, that cheap furniture. You can't get one of those <clears throat> hardly for, I think those are like, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks now for one of those pieces of junk. But you go to a furniture store, we went to a furniture store one day and we were walking through and the price they had on shelves and stuff that were actually nice shelves like this, it was crazy. Thousands of dollars for some of them things. All right, another nice piece of furniture and a little wood table here. It's got the little slide out tray on both sides. Um, Ann's found another box. It's not very heavy, but it's shiny. It's ornaments maybe? Christmas it's ornaments? Too big to be ornaments. Is it? Put a box. Ooh. This is uh I mean does it open? Okay. It's Some just a decor? Yeah, I guess it's just like a decorative um like little platform. Maybe put it in the middle of the table and then That's pretty. Yeah, it's nice. First I thought it was like oh what does it say there? Like a box. It says it's hard to see. Wendell, Wendell August. Handmaids. What does that say? The light is just so hard. To, Wendell August handmade handmade item here. Hmm. Maybe something really expensive. Who knows? Yeah. That was very shiny. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of like this tree back here, shiny. <laughs> the silver tree. There's luggage on there, but I don't know if there's luggage in here. 
okay now we get an odd box compared to the watch right there that that thing's broken and got shards of glass sticking up and here we go okay we've been getting flower pots and we've been getting heads this is where this isn't like oh. the i don't know exactly what this is for this is heavy though and then this might be a real head here it's yeah. this thing looks like a real head Ugh. huh this is kind of cool let's see like in a barber school or something name sadly eyes 29 ears 30 overall 20 total 97 Oh, that's like a grade. Oh, it's from like an, they made it for like an art class. Oh. That's pretty cool. That is it's pretty cool. real, pretty realistic looking. I mean, there's a crack there and there, but I mean, it's, they did a pretty good well, job on that. I mean, if you look at it from certain angles, it's, it looks like a real head. And the weight on it, when you pick it up, it feels about what you would expect a head to weigh. So when you go to pick it up, it's kind of weird feeling like you're... Restorative art wax. It must be, that's, oh, it's, I bet it's wax. It's like, you know, like you'd see at a wax museum. So here's the tools and stuff for it. So is that, I wouldn't, no, that's a different face. I would say, is that the mold for that one? But that, that's not the same face. That's cool. Microbiology for funeral service. Pathology, was he going to funeral school? I don't know if you call it funeral school, but, um, uh, mort mortuary, mortuary. Mort mortician school yeah mortician I think. maybe he's going to mortician school law for business yeah that is broken and just remember when we get, if you open this box try to remember that that's broken because it's, it's glass yeah and it's sharp okay so this is neat the, we get the head the wax head See, I thought it was like you put it up and wash his hair like it was cosmetology. Alright, another box. This thing's heavy and I think it's full of books, it looks like. Books, books. Scottish Rite Masonry. Masonry illustrated the complete ritual of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite. Hmm. Here we go, 1972. Here's the, here's the Florida Masonic monitor. We'll get some Mason books here. Clawson's Commentaries on Morals and Dogma. Here's another Scottish Rite masonry book. What's that? Is. Subordinate encampment. <laughs> Sounds kind of odd. The new revised sixth and seventh books of Moses and the magical uses of the Psalms. And then we got a Holy Bible with the um, the Georgia Masons logo on it. Scottish Rite Creed. Uh, what else? Florida Masonic Monitor. A Bridge to Light. Alright, so we got like, some of these are kind of like textbook looking things. Well, I don't know. It might be all masonry. So, illustrated history of Freemasonry. I thought it was like text, like school textbooks, which maybe it could be something they were studying, but Freemasonry, a journey through ritual and symbol. Ceremonies, heroines of Jericho. So some interesting books in that box. I'll grab this one more box up here and then we'll load some more furniture and then we still got that pile of boxes in the back there. This feels kind of heavy, like it may be books too. Or, nope, not at all. It's actually hydrogen peroxide and some paperwork. So some bottles of um, hydrogen peroxide. Okay. All right, and all right, we're gonna load some stuff up. 
get this stuff out of the way and we'll eventually get to those boxes back there. All right, we're almost done here. We got the drop leaf table on the cart there. This right here actually turned out, this is a huge tabletop. It's kind of got a distressed edge on it. This is the base for it, so that will sit on there. I don't know if these chairs were officially for it, but there's eight chairs and they look like they would match up pretty well. Pretty cool looking chair. A little distressed just on the seat there. But very good condition though. Yep. So but other than that, I already showed you all those chairs. There's two of these little wooden kind of farmhouse, little primitive kind of looking chairs, green. One more pot. There was um six seven. Seven total pots, yeah. Oh, we found the sun back here behind the piece of furniture. I didn't even show there's a big dresser. I'll show that later, but this is pretty nice. Kind of looks like it's um copper. I don't know if it really is copper. That'd be a big piece of copper, but at least copper colored sun. All right, now we're going to hit these, this last stack of boxes back here. And then once we do that, we'll be done here until we get back to the, the store with the stuff. And let's see what we got. As far as smalls go, furniture has been really good. We found some interesting small stuff so far. We got the these are cool right here. That's got the fall little wreath inside of it. All right, look at this Bible here. Holy Bible, Catholic Parish Edition. So you got the Catholic Bible. That's pretty nice looking. Look at oh, look at this thing. These are like big aluminum. Oh, man. Volrath. This is like a this is like a big commercial skillet here a little smaller one but those are pretty nice another wreath and then looks like is this christmas stuff down here looks like, looks like i see a snowman hat yep snowman snowman so i think it's going to be um there's some christmas pillows all right we'll move on because it's we've already shown enough christmas stuff for today out of this one i think There is cool like stuff, snowmen and pillows and stuff down there it looks like. All right, we got some more dishes. This kind of looks like it matches some of the ones we already saw that were in that first batch. A whole bunch of plates. So. So China. China, probably more China here. Yep, more of that China. The Jersey China Company. What is this? Some kind of dish there. So another set of China. Johnson Bros, England. So I'm trying to get this. I'm going to green dishes down there the green dishes up oh, there's the top of a yeti cup so then there's another green it's like some, like smaller green bowls and then there's a large green bowl there did you say toy box tour the box oh tour of the box but you say that's That'd be kind of odd. I haven't seen any kind of kids stuff in here. So there would be a toy box. All right, what is this? More dishes? I believe so. Some big white bowls. This feels like it's probably, well, it's not the same. Genuine mahogany, handmade in Haiti. So a nice wooden mahogany bowl here. And then here's another piece to the, this is the soup terrine for the jersey wear. 
dishes. I can see some more of those down in the bottom. More jersey wear. Exactly. I don't really know what that's for. I'm sure that has like a specific use, but it's pretty well made stainless steel. Look, we got little croissant, enamel cast iron dishes. These are very expensive. What's this one here? It looks like another. Yep, this is like croissant. And the big enamel. Kind of like Dutch oven there. And then I think there's an even bigger one down in the bottom. Ooh. Yep, big yellow one. A huge, like Dutch oven, I guess you would say. That's what I call it. But... So those are really nice. Nice little stainless steel pot. There's a blender, little glass dish there. Ooh, that's heavy because of that, that cast iron. All right, we got cups, cups and saucers. Made in England. And that's a different one there, Buffalo. Does this go with that Johnson Bros? Yeah, Johnson Bros Iron Stone. So there's more down underneath there, so I'm pretty sure it's probably more. Yeah, I feel, it on it. I feel more cups or glasses down in the bottom there. Old shot glasses. Yeah. All right, we got two more boxes back here. Ann says this are heavy. Watch you pick it up with one hand. Man, it is heavy. It's definitely full of dishes. It's very heavy. Oh, Lord. It's plastic, Daniel. It's all plastic. Oh, here we go. We got more of the um, vintage pirates. This is like for a mixer. Sunbeam glass bake. That's the same pattern as on the other one. Here's a lid. There's the big bowl for that pattern. Yeah, there's another small bowl. I think that yeah, goes with that. That goes with that. that, that. Just be careful with it there. Yep. And what else do we have? We got more enamel cast iron down there. That's why it's so heavy. Because you've got dishes and you've got this stuff. There's another piece down there. The lid croissant. This is Temperware by Linux, microwave oven safe. So this looks like a really nice like little baking ware. And there's several pieces of this on the temperware. Very nice looking. That whole stack over there looks like it's all that. But that is the heaviest box right there because of all this stuff. All right, one more box. This is a big huge box very heavy i'm gonna have to get get the hand truck to move this thing so mostly um kitchen stuff back there but a lot of a lot of really nice pieces that are should bring some good money what do we have here this is cool. <laughs> more heavy like heavy cast iron candelabra here, very heavy. Got the little glass with the green tint. Is yeah. that cracked or I, I think it's just an imperfection? It, I think it's made. Oh, yeah, I don't think it's a crack. It's not sharp. Here's the air fryer. I don't know if, yeah, I see the, yeah, the other pieces are in here. So a little Copper Chef air fryer. Gottinger. Some kind of serving piece of some sort. And yeah, it's Pyrex. So 
more Pyrex bakeware with the lids. And down here, there's going to be all kinds of glassware, it appears. Looks like vases. Glass vases. Metal vases. Some kind of light fixture lamp. All right, all this stuff is just a lot of breakable glass and stuff. There goes for an oil lamp or for a light fixture one. So we'll have to look in this later. Here's more packing paper wrap for up front. Oh. We got three boxes of this yesterday in a unit. All right, lots of good stuff coming out of this unit for sure. A um, couple things back here at the store I want to show you. Here's these um, iron tables with the glass top. These are real heavy. We got 50 bucks a piece on them. Haven't sold those yet. Um, these plant stands, these are pretty cool. There's three of them here. We got 15, 12, 50, and 10. Priced individually. Obviously, if somebody bought them all, you know, we'd make them a deal, combo deal there. Um, all these chairs, these are nice little chairs. 20 bucks a piece. 20 bucks for each chair. What else did we get? Um, these right here, these little kind of farm style vintage looking chairs, 12.50 each. Chairs aren't the easiest thing to sell, so you can't get too crazy. And then this is really cool. It's a Hamilton Costco vintage mid-century chair. I think I already showed it when we were getting out of the unit. We got 75 bucks on it. So look it up. That's a that's a deal for that one actually. And I think that's all the furniture right here in this area that we have out. Let me squeeze through here. This shelf right here. This thing's really nice. We got 125 on it. The drop leaf table got 60 bucks on it. Table's nice. Just no matching chairs, so makes it a little more difficult to sell. What else came out of that unit? Let's see. Trying to remember. Um, a couple things we already sold. All those teak chairs, folding chairs, I had them right here. I sold them all for $20 each, so $120 bucks on them. There were six of them. Um, there was also four matching like black chairs. I sold those for $60, bucks, so $120 and $60. That's $180 on those two things. Um, I got all these pots here. They came out of the unit. $40 bucks each on these. See, they got a $119.99 price tag on them at Pike Nursery. $25, $25, $10. I had two other ones. They were $17.50 each. I sold those already. So we're over $200 on the two sets of chairs and those pots. Um, $250 on this big table right here. Hit it. Here it is all set up. We put these chairs with it. Got $250 on that. We got $195 on this. I put $125 on this. Um, here's this little table right here. $40 bucks with a little slide out trays. That was out of that. So as you can see, it just keeps adding up and trying to remember everything it gets hard sometimes because stuff sells and you kind of forget about it um okay these two right here 60 bucks on the set there was a little shelf that um kind of matched that but we priced it separately i think um 30 or 40 bucks we sold that for also the two little there was two side tables they were round wood top and they had the black like heavy metal base and the crank Took those home. Those are at my house right now. Should take a picture at, at home of them. Actually, I should kind of show some of the stuff at my house that came out of units. Not everything in my house is out of units, but we have, you know, quite a bit of stuff, you know, that we've taken home. Because sometimes we'll take stuff home, we'll switch it out, you know, all that kind of thing. Sometimes we see something, like, hey, I like that better than the one I have. Just go home and trade it out. Or, you know, sometimes we just add the stuff. But anyways, um, let's see. Some of the small stuff that came out of that unit. I know I sh we've showed a lot of it. We went through a lot of the boxes there. Here, I'm gonna show some of it. All right, here's all the Pyrex, that whole set <clears throat> that was in there. This is, all, this is the auction back here. This is all set up for the auction. It's live right now. And I know people are gonna ask, it's sorry, it's, it's local pickup only. If you go to the site, you've gotta be able to pick it up here in Dallas, Georgia. So if you live in other states, unfortunately, no, you would not be able to bid. But a lot of these dishes and everything came out of there, all these pots and pans, um, this, these Griswolds, these are really nice. <clears throat> all this, lots of kitchenware that came out of there. That little press right there, cast iron. 
This Griswold number 11717, it's over $100 right now in the auction is what the bid is. But this thing, can, some of these um, go for hundreds of dollars on this particular one right here. All this Le Croissant cast iron enamel, there's a bunch of it. It's doing pretty good in the auction right now. Um, what else came out of that unit? Lots of this stuff. All right, just the, out of some of the stuff that I was just showing you, just the two Griswold... Um, cast iron skillets and then the look le croissant cast iron and the the um pyrex set those items there just those items not all the other stuff the small stuff the furniture but just those few things some the better of the small stuff the cast iron and the vintage pyrex um the auction ended last night they brought over 600 dollars for that so pretty good unit 460 dollar unit a few of the good small items brought, you know, more than it cost. And that's not including all the furniture, all the other small stuff. But the one, the big Griswold, Skr Gris Griswold, Skrillet, Griswold Skillet brought um, about $240 in our auction. Now, I mean, I've seen some of that same model going for more or a little bit less, kind of in that range on eBay, just depending on the condition and everything. But let's get back and show some more stuff that we um, found out of that unit that we got in the auction. Hmm. That sun was in there. That's pretty cool, that middle sun. I'm trying to see if there's anything that we didn't already show that I can remember. Oh, here's the wax head, of course. I know we showed that thing. I haven't looked. This is in the auction. I haven't even looked to see what, what the bid is on that, if there's any bid at all. I don't know. Oh, and then all the Mason books. I think I did. Yeah, I showed some of these. Lots of Mason books that were in there um what else what else i don't remember lots of stuff that we put into the in the dig area oh there was some um let me show a couple things here there was a there was a gold ring there was like a a cloth in the unit that ann found it was just like literally like like a handkerchief and wrapped up in it there was some jewelry there's this right here this is sterling silver that was in there and then those sterling silver earrings and then there was a, a little gold mason's ring. It had the, the mason symbol on it, and it's, um I think it was 10 karat gold. And what did I do with that? Oh, here it is. So here's that. It's got the star, little mason symbol there. But that is gold. Look in there. Um, yeah, 10 karat. So that was in there. But anyways... Just trying to think to make sure I didn't miss anything major. Good unit overall. And oh, and also, you know, the free all the free clothes. We've been selling a bunch of them things. We've been putting out front and the um the dollar buggies selling a lot up for a dollar. We've got a few pieces in the auction. I'll show you right here. I don't know what the bid on is on any of this stuff, but all these little like workout sets and jumper. I think you call this a jumper, all that kind of stuff. Anything else? Anything else? It gets hard sometimes because these the units start all going together because I've already bought, since this unit we're putting out, I've already bought, um, I think, two more units that we're in the middle of working on. And here's you a little preview. Some really good stuff coming up in the next one. And we got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. We got a mountain of boxes in the back for the next one. But this one was good. It was nice and clean. <clears throat> pretty easy to load a lot of it was furniture a few boxes oh and then all those christmas ornaments those will just wait till christmas so good unit i don't know what else to say about it it was a good unit anyways if you like this video give us a thumbs up leave a comment leave a good comment leave a bad comment because like i've said before it doesn't matter any comment at all it helps out the videos and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and everything to do with storage auctions and thrift store and all that kind of stuff y'all have a good one